have that all done, now let's highlight both of these and let's bring in a delay effector. And then I'll go to effector and click spring and put the strength at about 70-75%. I'm going to do 75. Oh, I forgot I haven't set any keyframes, my bad. <laughs> I'm going to go on and drop this into our effectors. And we're going to take all four of these. I'm going to move them back. Now it may look like it's going to stay in place. I'll fix that in a second for you. Uh, for those R12 users. And you're just going to drop a keyframe right here. And let's go to about uh, 70. And we're going to drop, move this over here. And put at least another keyframe. So as you'll see, nothing really happens when you're dragging this through. Actually, it does look like it works. I take that back. And you'll see it kind of springs in place, although you can't see too well. I'll have to go through it like this. See how they just kind of hop in place and they're continuously moving? A lot of that's the delay effector. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're done with that part. Now, if you're using R12 when we do this, uh, I'm going to add a little bit extra instruction. So we're going to highlight both of our fractures, right click, dynamics, dynamic body. If you have uh, R11.5, I think it is, you're going to go to MoGraph and do rigid body, but I have R12. So I'm going to be using dynamics body. Now, pay close attention. For fracture 1D, you're going to go to at velocity peak for the trigger and for fracture G or your second word or object you're just going to turn dynamic off but leave trigger immediately so if you play through not too much different feels like it does take a while to go all the way through it's still made up play out clean as I just dragged it across though but it will come out cream clean when you play it so let's put this right about in the middle okay that looks really trashy but okay actually I'll play through watch my computer just go to crap <laughs> there you go and we'll leave it right here looks decent now if you're on R12, what you want to do, go to your first one, scroll down to where it says in individual elements, click all, and that'll add a nice effect in a second. So you're going to go to the first one again, and you're going to click effectors, and uncheck plane. And that'll give you the effect where it just throws your pieces everywhere. But first off, we're going to want to either add a floor or a plane, I'm going to add a plane. Make this 7,000 on both sides. Alright. And we're going to right click Dynamics Body and off. And as you play through, mine's going to break up again like that. You'll see the pieces, instead of just breaking like normal, they're just going to fly apart. They're just going to explode everywhere. Yeah, it's a nice little effect. I forgot to drag our floor material in. Alright, and that looks nice. Okay. So, that's pretty much just about it. Let's let this play through. I know it's going to be a little laggy, but... Once it hits the end keyframe, I can go on and continue through. Here we go. Nice and clean. Now, let's see. Let me move the camera around real quick to about 
here, I think. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm going to drop a camera here so it doesn't move away from me. But I'm going to add a spotlight. Make this kind of wide so you can see it. Let's move it back in just a little bit more. I dropped it down too much, so it's or not enough. So let's spin it back down some more and move it forward again, and then back up. Let's make it a little bit wider. Let's kind of center it more. All right, looks good there. And if we go over here to our black text, it doesn't quite get all of it. So let's move it over one more time. Perhaps we'll widen it a little bit. Mm, bear with me, guys. And that'll do. It's not perfect, but we'll do. There you go. So guys, there's your effect. There goes my computer again. <laughs> Yeah, should be good and I'll show you what the final product looks like I'm sorry for my last linguistics failure it was cold and today's a little bit warmer so have a nice day guys and I'll show you the final product